Okay, we're going to continue on with our stat tips and tricks, and we're going to be looking at the object compare wizard, which is found under the PeopleSoft tab. And then you go to the bottom right and hit advanced. And then from there, you go to the object management tab. And there's two halves to the object management tab. There's the archive sets, which is the default tab. And then there's the environmental info. There's a little button over here. If you click on this, you'll see it'll switch the view on this side of the window. Once you get here, you can click on, for example, SQR. I'm going to do a flat file compare first and then hit compare. You'll see I get three options. Compare between two archive sets, or I'm sorry, two environments, between two archive sets, and between an archive set and an environment. If you choose to compare two environments, you're talking about two live environments in PeopleSoft at the tools layer, or you could compare two archive sets in the stat repository that might not be live any, in any environment. You could also compare a live environment with an archive set, uh, so you've got some options here. I'm going to choose two environments, but before I do, I'm going to give you an example of a change that I'm going to make. So I'm going to go out to my file server. And I've already looked at a file or migrated a file to my working directory. So you can see I have an SQR here. I'm going to open it up just in Notepad. You can open it in any program you'd like. I'm going to make a modification. So I'll say change number one and I'll make another, another modification down here. We'll say this is change number two. And I'll make a final modification down here where I'll take SQR out and I'll say, let's make this uh, change number three. And so I'll go file, save, and I save that in my working directory. And I could migrate that to any environment and then do a compare from that environment, but I'm just gonna compare it from the working directory. And I'm going to come back into stat and hit the compare button. I'll compare between two environments and we're going to choose production and my working directory. And so I'll hit OK. And so basically we see a side by side comparison. Uh, we leverage the beyond compare, it's built into our tool. And we see on the left hand side is the production version, on the right hand side is the changed version. And you can see very easily in red any of my changes. Now when I click on the show only differences, it just shows me the lines side by side that have changed. So if I had thousands of lines, I'd just see the lines that had changed. And I can also click on a line and then see the differences right here as well, so that I can compare the differences between these lines line by line. You can also merge changes, so you could say let's merge copy right, and that'll actually copy this version on the left from production over to the right version. Fill it back in. You could save this to your working directory and then version that change. Uh, it's not going to change any live environment, it's just going to make a change that you can save to your working directory. So that's a way to compare flat files. Now I'm going to look at a PeopleSoft page change. I'm going to go ahead and change this from change number one, which I had prior made, and make it change number two. And I'm going to change this from change number one to change number two. And so I've got two changes to two labels on a page. Okay, now I'm going to compare that to another environment. Make a save to this. Okay, now I'm back in stat. I'm going to highlight the page, hit compare. I'm going to compare two environments. I'm going to say what's the difference between production, or QA, test in this case, and development. So the top window will be test, and the bottom window will be dev. Stat's basically looking at a page from the standpoint of the database and it's telling you the objects are not identical it's showing you the things that make up of a make up a page in PeopleSoft like the panel defins and the field defins it's going to show you in red anything that's diff that's 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 changed anything in green is something that's same anything that's gray means there's no relevant data there I'm going to click on show only differences and that's going to filter just the stuff that's different now I can come over here and look at the panel defin and see the version numbers different so this is the test version this is the dev version I can scroll over to the right and see that the last update timestamp is different. I can click on the field and see the two fields separated out from all the others. And I can see change number one was what it was and change number two is what it is now. And it clearly highlights for me as I scroll over only in dark red the things that are different. And so if I had not had show only differences on, I would actually see all the different fields, but because I want to narrow down just the fields that have changed, I hit show only differences, click on field, and now I see just the fields that have the changes. That's how the compare with uh, merge wizard works.